Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up, who love their tech, especially if they love their GPD Win 2. And this video is, well, I'm going to discuss in this video, um, the removable SSD drive that's in the GPD Win 2. Um, that is a cool new feature that they um, put in the GPD Win 2 where you can remove the SSD drive and put in the size that you would like to have in your Win 2 so that you can store the amount of games that you want to store in it. Um, by default, it comes with a 128 uh, gigabyte SSD. And that's, you know, a pretty, pretty kind of decent size, but you know, looking at the games that they're making for the PC right now, um, especially like um, games like uh, Final Fantasy 15, that's a 70 plus a gigabyte game. Um, and then you're looking at um, Grand Theft Auto 5, that's a 50 plus a gigabyte game. Um, Star Ocean, The Last Hope, if you got the 4K HD version, that's a almost 40 gigabyte large game. So games are getting pretty large now on the PC. So you wanna make sure you have enough space for all of your cool games. So that's why, you know, this feature that they included in the Win 2 to uh, remove and install your own SSD, that's pretty cool. So I just wanna give you some um, tips and pointers on which SSD to get for your GPD Win. Now, if you are uh, if you are unknowledgeable about the um, SSD that you need, um, as I was when I first got my um, Win 2, um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, I did look on some videos before getting my Win 2 and knew that I had to get the M.2 2422 uh, SSD. So what I did. And this was like even before I even got my uh, Win 2. I went on Amazon, my trusty site, because I have Prime. I love Prime. I, 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 like, I like getting my stuff in, in two days. And so I went on and I typed in search bar M.2-2242 SSD. And found a whole lot of them, of course. So, of course, if you're not knowledgeable, you... you wouldn't really know which one to actually get and nine times out of ten you're gonna go for the cheapest one so I had to go back on YouTube and um, look up some videos to find out which type of SSD that you needed to have for the win 2 and the one that you need to have and I'll just show you the shape of it um, this one right here this is the type that you need now there's this one is also an M2 that 2242 drive but this one looks different than this one as you can see in this one this one has two holes one right here and one right there that's not the one you want that's not the one you want don't even look at that one look at this one this is the one you want you see this um half circle right here so that's basically where the screw is going to you know insert basically let's see if i can show you here kind of angle it so this is the uh, port where the SSD goes so you will unscrew it here I mean I wouldn't screw it for you on video but um just check it out just check out a couple videos on YouTube and you'll see how you unscrew it and uninstall and install an SSD it's pretty pretty easy I did it on my second try second try so um so you score it and then you will see the drive and you will see this shape. You will see this drive on the inside of here and you will see that it has that half circle right there. So those are the ones that you want to look for when looking to buy um, an SSD drive for your Win 2. Now that's just part one. So now that you know which type of drive you're looking for, so like I said, you want to X out this um, you can look at that one, you can look at this one, you can look at that one. Like I said, there's a lot of different drives. But now that we got the shape, now we gotta look for uh, the brand. Now I say that because 
Um, when I looked on Amazon to um, find my SSD, this is the one that I look for, or the, the one that I purchased. Um, it's a dogfish, like it says, it says right here, M.2-2242, and it has 480 gigabytes of space, and look at that price, 179 for that much space. I said that was a really good deal, so of course I jumped on that like white on rice, and I got it, and um, as soon as I got it, I got it maybe three days ago, and as soon as I got it, I quickly got my GP, no, my Win2, opened it up, took my drive, the drive that was in out, and put this drive in. And when I turned it on, um, well, I actually um, followed a video. I followed a video. I'm going to show you the video that I followed in a second. But um, I followed the instructions, and for whatever reason, the Win2 was not uh, picking up this drive. So I took it out, put it back in. I thought that I inserted it wrong. So I put it back in, screwed it in, followed the instructions again. It still wasn't recognizing this drive. So I'm thinking that uh, there's something wrong with the drive, but I'm like, no, it can't be anything wrong with the drive because it's a brand new drive. And I mean, and I usually get my stuff from Amazon, like I said, because one, they got Prime, and two, returning stuff is really, really cool. Really, really no problems at all through Amazon. So I was buying with confidence when I bought this. So I, I tried it maybe three more times, and it still didn't recognize the drive. And so that told me that not every drive is going to work with the GPD Win 2. Um, unfortunately, the company did not release um, a list of um, SSD uh, hard drives that would work with the Win 2. So basically, this is going to be trial and error. So I'm glad I'm making this video so that I can let you people know who are going to be getting your GPD Win 2s very, very soon to not buy particular um, SSD drives. Definitely don't do not buy the Dogfish one. This one is not recognizable in the Win 2 at all. So I returned it and got my money back. And um, I was on deck to purchase another drive but I'm holding out on the drive and I'm gonna tell you why and another video uh, in my review video for the um, win 2 um, I'll show you exactly why in that video why I did not purchase um, another SSD drive so I'll at least let you know um, my viewers uh, which drives work with the GBD win 2 so like I said, I returned that one and then I went to YouTube and searched again on how to change the Win2 SSD. And there's only two videos, two videos that I've known, that I know about, that shows you how to do so. Um, this first video is the one that I um, use as far as learning how to do it. And then um, I looked at this one, you know, just for reference, just to see if the two videos uh, were similar as far as giving you information on replacing the SSD drive. And so this video here, I mean, this is, well, I gotta wait for it to load, there we go. So it does show you, and there's no commentary, it does show you how to install it. So it shows you uh, a screwdriver that you can kind of need um, basically if you got uh, screwdrivers that um, screws in uh, the handle for your glasses or whatnot um, those will be the perfect size to unscrew the screw that houses the SSD drive so you do that fast forward it shows you you can take it out shows a little grooves there And here is the drive. In fact, let me see if I can make it uh, full screen. Bam! ZTC, 256 gigabytes. So, you can look for this particular um, SSD, and this one is gonna work because this person actually tried it out and showed that it actually worked. So you put it in as follows. Yada, 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 long story short, you screw it back in, 
da 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 you power it back on. And then it goes to uh, this PC, and it shows right here that it is recognizable. So that was a good thing. That was a good thing that it actually works in the GPD Win 2. Now, my gripe about this video, because it doesn't have commentary, it doesn't tell you how to um, do so, how to install it or whatnot, um, this is not a good video. Even though it showed you how to do it, you know, how to put it in, or take take out the one that's in the Win 2 and put another one in, it did not give you the full uh, instructions because the 128 gigabyte SSD that's in the Win 2 that has the operating system, the Windows operating system on it. So if you don't know about transferring everything from that drive to your new drive, then you will be screwed. And the reason why I said you will be screwed, that's when I discovered that I did some wrong. When I got that dogfish, the 480 gigabyte, I didn't look at the video. I just took out the 128, put in the 480, and then when I turned it back on, my Win 2 was doing some funky stuff where these words and it looked like it was in DOS mode. I'm like, it looked like I broke it. It looked like I broke it. There was this word shell, and then there was a little prompt that was flashing. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I was pressing run, you know, taking it back to DOS days, and nothing was working. And then when I put the 128 gigabyte drive back in there, it still didn't work. It still showed up in that weird writing, word writing, and I thought that I messed up my Win 2, and I was about to cry. So what I did was, I did what the faults would do. So what I did, I had to um, uh, boot the Win 2 into the BIOS mode. Um, in order to do that, you turn on your Win 2, and then you hold the, the, the delete key down, and then it'll take you into the BIOS mode. And so what I had to do was um, go to the boot menu. All right, so now we'll be able to... So let's see if I can uh, show you where the boot menu is. Come on, help me out, help me out, help me out, Fox. There we go. So the boot menu is... Oh, I skipped over it. Right there. So let me put this up. So in the BIOS uh, screen, on the BIOS screen, you got some tabs on the top. Main, advanced, chipset, security, boot. I had to go to boot, and I had to switch the um, option of how it loads up to Windows. Because when I, like I guess I put in a dogfish, it kind of messed things up. And so I went to boot, and I had no knowledge of how to do this. Cause there's no video that showed you how to recover your win to so like i said i got scared i just went to boot myself and I was thinking okay um i know that you know for the boot uh any kind of computer they would load things up based on what's listed in the boot menu so at the top it listed i guess the um ssd so i changed that to windows or windows operating system so when I put back the 128 gigabyte, the original SSD in the Win 2 and change the boot to Windows first, that's when they kicked on. Man, I was scared. I thought I had, and I might as well just tell you the price of how much I bought my uh, Win 2 off of eBay. I got it for 800. Like I said, yeah, the uh, campaign was 600. I got it for 200 extra dollars. So the person that um, I bought it for got $200 profit. So good deal for him great deal for me so I was saying when I did that it booted up and that's when I told myself I am no longer doing things that I think is correct let me go and try to find a video that will tell you exactly how to do so so again there's only two videos on YouTube that will show you how to do it let's go back on um, the very top one so when you type in how to change GPD Win 2 SSD, just put that in your search. The very top video, one by the Fox. Fox is spelled P H A W X. You look at that one. Do not look at any other one. Like I said, there's only two. Don't look at this one. It does show you how to do it. Like I said, it showed you a drive 
that actually works. That sits to your right that actually works, but it does not give you any kind of directions on how to do so because if you do it the way that you think you're supposed to do it, you will mess up your GPD win. The Fox actually gives you uh, step-by-step instructions. You can pause the video, make sure you're doing things right. He gives it to you raw. That's what I like about the Fox. He knows what he's doing. So I'll leave his uh, channel in the script uh, in the comment section so that you can go to it if, if you wanted to. But like I said, just type in how to change GPD when to SSD. Get his video. It's the very top one. And follow that to a T. You'll be good to go. Now, the SSD drive that the Fox used, um, he used this one. He went the way of the cheap, just like I did. He found the King Spec 512 gigabyte uh, SSD drive. And this one, available from sellers. Let's see how much it costs. Not that much. He went the way of the cheap, just like I did. However, um, when I um, viewed the video um, and he ran some tests on the SSD, he said that it did work. It's just that it wasn't fa it wasn't that fast. And number two, it ran extremely hot. So he, he advised people to not buy this one because it ran extremely hot. He said it actually ran hotter than the GP1 um, he issues. So. If you had the GPD Win 1 and you knew that when you ran it for a good amount of time, it got really hot, um, this drive runs even hotter than the Win 1. So I would advise not to get it. So basically what this means is, if it's cheap, it's not going to be the best. So don't go the way of the cheap. Don't do what I did. Don't do what the Fox did. But you learned the hard way. Even my, the, dog, the dogfish that I had, even though it wasn't reading, it was getting hot. So don't go the way of the cheap. Even though it looks good, you know what I'm saying, as far as yeah, gigabytes or space, don't do it. The ones that did work, like I said, the ZTC that you saw in the other video, um, try to look for that one. And that one he had was a 256 gigabyte one. That one does work. Um, there's two others that does work. I will, actually, I will say one. I'm going to assume that this one's going to work. And I'm going to tell you why I assume that this one's going to work right here. This one is the uh, My Digital SSD. Um, the reason why I assume it's going to work is because I um, went on Amazon and, of course, there's a couple of people that are, you know, pre-selling the uh, Win 2. Um, there's one right here for $900. <laughs> That's a lot of money. So this person is going to make $300 for each unit that he sells. Unbelievable. So um, he, he has right here that they're gonna, his are gonna be released June 16th. So if you're really on a hunt for one and wanna get one that's cheaper than the ones that are on eBay, jump on this one. So um, I went down to the description, you know, did some reading and lo and behold, he actually did a test on an SSD. Let's see, here it is. It says it right here. Let me highlight it so that you can see it. The tested SSD that, that this person used is the Transcend TS512 GMT S400 512 gigabyte SSD drive. Now, they do sell this one on Amazon. And what I kind of don't like about these companies, even GPD is guilty of this. Um, and I'll explain that in another video for uh, the quick adapter that's included with the Win 2. I'll explain why GPD is guilty of what I'm about to explain right now. So, like I said, this company is selling um, Win 2 for 900 and it shows you that they tested an SSD drive. So they tested a, tra a Transcend one, and like I said, they do sell it on Amazon, but look how much it costs. $300. That's a lot of money just for some space. Yes, it's cool space, delicious space, and like I said, they said that they tested it out, and it runs, and the transfer speed is up to 600 megabytes per second. That right there is absolutely delicious. 
you can't beat that with a stick. So when you're putting stuff on or loading stuff on there, it's gonna load extremely fast. So for the price, yeah, the price is high, but the speed you're gonna get out of it is gonna be out of this world. So you can see right here, read speeds for this car reach 560 megabytes per second and write speeds at 460 megabytes per second. That right there is fast. Very, very fast. So when you're playing your games, you're not gonna have to worry about too much slowdown or installing games onto the drive. You're not gonna worry about a lot of slowdown or you don't have to wait that long for very large games to install on the drive. So, knowing that, um, this one works. So this gets the Tech OG stamp of approval. Um, not for the price, but for the functionality. So it's going to work in your GBD Win 2. Um, the reason why I didn't get it, and I like to explain it in another video, but I, the reason why I said that this one here um, is also compatible is because when I look at the wording for, or the description for the Trans -N, it has this right here, 6, six GB. The dogfish that I had does not have the 6 GB. This one does not have the 6 GB. But this one does, in a sense. It doesn't have 6 GB, but it has 6 G. So, because I see the 6 G here, and I saw on this drive right here, pretty much. I'm assuming that this is gonna stand for six gigabytes, quote unquote. So I'm going to assume, I'm not gonna give this a stamp of approval yet, and I'm not gonna buy it to try it out either. But if you do get this one, um, try it out, see if it works, get it through Amazon. Like I said, um, you can buy with confidence because their return policy is absolutely fantastic. So. Seeing the price of this one is a 256 gigabyte for $90. That's not that's a really good price for 256 SSD drive. And as you can see here, the read and the write speeds are just as on par as the transcend um, SSD as you read or seen in this description here. So the read and write speeds are on par. Read speeds 560.4. Right speeds 483.6. That is right there delicious. So, if you're looking for a budget uh, SSD drive for your Win 2, definitely get this one. This gets my half seal of approval. Um, try it out. Let me know in the comment section um, if you do get this one, if it actually is recognized in the Win 2. But one that is, again, this one right here is absolutely recognizable. This one absolutely works. If you can swallow the $2.99 price, definitely get it. You'll be happy with the read and write speeds and, of course, the size. So you're getting double the space than this one. So if you got a whole lot of games that you want to put on there, your emulators or whatnot, you definitely get the Fire 12. But that right there is, that's $300. That's a lot of money. So like I said, try this one out, see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll look for the ZTC one. Um, I don't think I've uh, seen it on Amazon, but go ahead and check and see if it's there. Um, or if you can swallow the price, get the Transcend one. So there you have it. And again, you wanna look for the SSD drive that has the half circle in the middle. So there you have it, though that, that's my um, gist of the SSD drives that will work for the Win 2. Um, I wish you the best of luck and looking for one for your Win 2. So um, once you get your Win 2 and you do want to upgrade, um, upgrade your drive, um, go with the ones that I told you or find one that you may think is going to work, you know what I'm saying, and check, uh, install it. Like I said, definitely look at the video by the fox he will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install uninstall um install the uh a fresh new copy of windows onto here he'll tell you everything that you need to do 
definitely check his video out. I will leave this link to this video in the comment section. Um, you can follow him, subscribe to him. Um, he's pretty cool. Very, very knowledgeable on the um, item from GPD. And you can say he's like a official, unofficial spokesperson for um, GPD. And here, right here, when you do uh, look at this video, this top video here, does show you the King Spec um, SSD that he purchased, and he says right here it's garbage. So he does tell you why it's garbage. So I like the Fox. Definitely, like I said, subscribe to him. He already has fourteen thousand. You know, keep him growing. He's very knowledgeable, like I said, and you won't go wrong with this video. So I hope you like what I've offered for you. Um, as far as information, if you like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. And as you can hear, my voice is better. My cold is gone. I'm going back to work tomorrow. Um, so leave a thumbs up. Um, leave comments if you have any more questions. I'll try to answer them the best way that I can. Um, uh, subscribe to my channel, definitely. Um, tell your friends about my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.